Hi guys, Kim here of Yuga Tech, and we're here to feature one of Vivo's coolest features. That's Jovi, of course. And yes, I know what you're thinking. Hmm. Anyway, I know some of you have heard of it before, but if you haven't and you're curious about it, then just stay right where you are. Alright, so before you assume that Vivo's inspiration for Jovi is a famous rock band, then I'm sorry to burst your bubble. Jovi is actually Vivo's AI assistant, which stands for Enjoy Vivo's AI. Hmm, I see what you did there, Vivo. Okay, so our guy Jovi is part of Vivo's FunTouch OS 4.5 for the V11 and V11i. It works with the phone's other features like the home screen, cameras and even with game apps to provide the user a better experience. But in this video, we're going to focus more on Jovi's work for the AI cameras. First up is face beauty mode. For this, the Vivo smart camera uses Jovi to analyze the user's skin type, skin tone, gender, age, and previous preferences to apply the best face beautification effect for that user. There's no need for other shenanigans because all you have to do is just point and shoot. To use AI face beauty, just go to the camera app and tap on AI face beauty camera mode, which is on the left side of take photo. Next up, we have AI scene identification. With this, you don't have to toggle the settings to get the right shot because Jovi can identify seven different scenes including people, flowers and plants, food, and nighttime settings. For example, when we're shooting a scene in low light, it will automatically activate low light mode. When the subject is against a strong light source, it will activate backlight HDR. I think we all struggle to get the right composition and framing, so Vivo has created AI portrait framing. To be able to use this feature, make sure to have the face beauty mode on. Then the phone will detect the distance, orientation, and position of a face and suggest an appropriate position for the portrait in the camera framing interface based on the centered composition and golden ratio rules. Follow the instructions to move the phone until the two circles overlap to complete the composition. Of course, who are we to forget Funmoji? If you want to have a bit of fun, the V11 and V11i have this feature, which is basically a set of animated emojis that uses a phone's front camera and AI algorithm to mirror your facial expressions. It's really fun to use. And lastly, we have Google Lens. I know some of you are familiar with this, but if you aren't, then this feature comes in really handy when you're exploring popular landmarks, identifying plants and animals, or trying to find out where to buy an outfit or product you've spotted somewhere. It basically identifies objects and scenes in your photos, and it will perform related searches. And I guess that's it for now. What do you guys think about Vivo's Jovi AI Assistant? Let us know in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, you know where the thumbs up button is. Consider subscribing to our YouTube YouTube channel for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified of our future uploads and visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Kim and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!